notice that during a squat movement that, that my knee buff was in consistently. And this might not happen with an air squat, but maybe with a loaded squat, you might need video to, or someone else to confirm it for you. But as I squat down, if that knee starts to buckle in a little bit, this is going to be very limiting. And part of this has to do with hip stability and ankle stability, even though it looks like a knee problem. So a good technique that we can use to correct that is to use a mobility band anchored at approximate knee height. And we're going to step through it with the leg we're working on. And we want it to be pulling us into that knee buckling position, right? And it's going to be behind the opposite leg. So now, as I go into my squat, what I need to do is actively push this knee out, right? To use some extra rotation of the hip. But I don't want to lose the contact of my big toe. I don't want to roll out on my foot, right? So I still want to keep that contact with the big toe base, but keep that knee pressed out by rotating the hip. And this will help me to be a corrective exercise to make sure that that knee doesn't buckle in excessively. And we can use it as a mobility drill or as a strengthening drill and as a warm-up prior to doing any sort of squat motion where we know that that knee is going to buckle in.